Hi friends, today's video, short, very short, will be about uh, repair of the charger from basically everything everything's from China so so let's look at this ULGD 5.0 ultimate speed uh, this char uh, I will not uh, so summarize so if this charger is good bad I just think it's worth of that uh, cheap price let's say so after uh, one year of using in the intensive using in in out around out, outside of the house and in the freezing conditions uh, just uh, happened that uh, there came uh, error with the uh, it was a bit similar like this but it was not quite the same uh, symptom was that there was no current going into the battery voltage of the battery was uh, re red uh, good or okay it was perfect uh, 12 point something volts but uh, no current was going into the battery so uh, let's look at in the inside uh, you can unscrew these securing or safety screws with the proper tool or it is uh, possible with the flat screwdriver do the same do the same good job buy the screwdriver and replacing with with the ordinary Phillips or, or positive so uh, on the display there probably was in this regime when battery is disconnected uh, there was uh, five point or six point something volts no current so I just looked inside and uh, this is the output side don't touch here just because it is uh, it is it is connected to the grid so be careful and around instead of this this is this is my MOSFET uh, my from my stockpiles just because uh, I don't want it to go anywhere and buy anything so so uh, there was a surface mount uh, surface mount uh, MOSFET transistor which was burnt and uh, you can replace it basically with any MOSFET with uh, with some 10 amps of current rating and uh, 100 volts, volts or 50 or more volts uh, source to drain voltage so I have replaced it with the IFRZ5 uh,40 MOSFET which is good enough for this purpose so let's let's connect the battery and let's check it carefully as you can actually see the voltage goes high higher this is uh, measured, I have measured the current now, which showed that on the motorcycle battery, small batteries, it is 0.8 amps and on both the car and uh, freezing uh, or, or snowflake regime the current is uh, one uh, roughly uh, twice uh, the current of the motorcycle mode so uh, so uh, probably this is 0.8 amps and this is 1.6 1.7 amps in in this uh, voltage level around this voltage level so so it's good enough to slowly charge the battery it costs cost me basically nothing 
you can buy proper MOSFET. There are two uh, two uh, print uh, um, printed uh, footprints. I'm sorry, I I forgot it for my from for the last uh, past ten years. So I I didn't make any electronics. So the footprints are two. There are there is smaller footprint. It is Q number three. You can probably recognize it. It and uh, Q three is that MOSFET. Uh, it is probably SOP eight package. I don't know. And even smaller one. It is this package. This one, the same like this. So you can buy MOSFET in this bigger package, bigger MOSFET with a, with better ratings and better cooling capacity. Even though there is no need to cool down this TO220 package, but you can buy MOSFET in this in this uh, in this case. And uh, basically, it's everything. It's good to strengthen these output wires just because it, they are pretty weak. You can see it's chinesium, so not not a problem in here. Probably it happened because I forgot the charger connected to the battery. And uh, I start. I attempted to start the car, so some voltage spike.